Oh my god. I'd be lying if I said I didn't drop a couple of tier buckets uh, watching this join. It was actually pretty cool so far in episode 9 of Cobra Kai. Um, every episode has something really cool and interesting for it. Um, a lot of callbacks to the original movies, uh, 1, 2, and 3, I'll put it that way. Um, uh, there's callbacks to the original seasons, Cobra Kai season 1 and season 2. They integrate 1 and 2 together uh, very well in season 3. Um, there's some things like if you didn't watch uh, or, like, or you didn't know about certain things in the original films, they have like little side-by-sides. So like in case you didn't know, you could catch up like the side-by-side -side thing during certain key points. Um, that's some nostalgic music for fans. I was like, I was dropping some buckets for uh, episode 9 and episode uh, 5. Um, I couldn't believe they brought back certain characters, I'll put it that way. Um, yeah, definitely, um, definitely, um, I think, like, I'm not, I, I, I'm not entirely too sure how much I enjoyed season one, but this blows season two out of the water with my complaints about season two being too romantic heavy. Uh, season three, as Cobra Kai Karate Kid should be is about balance. It's a balance between all the things that you like. It has fighting in there, it has a lot of fighting in there. It has like a, a you know romance in there. It has action in there, drama, suspense, uh, betrayal. It has all the cool elements that you want in a series. Um, while I thought season two was mainly about romance and hooking up. Uh, like every episode was about hooking up in some way, shape, or form. This this season is not about that kind of stuff. It's it's you never know what you're gonna get uh, kind of stuff. So um yeah I was I was de I definitely was shocked I, my 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 jaw was like at like uh during some of the 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 big cliffhanger moments and, and things like that I was like no way um and like it had my mind racing on how certain things were gonna happen in the show and uh, I liked how like it subverted things like um there's a certain point when I think Charles is in the the trailer right so I'm not spoiling there. But Chosen's there. He teaches uh, something to someone, and I thought that something would help someone else out with their um, issues, their bed issues. But it wasn't the case. It was something else. I was like, "That's pretty cool." They they, they made me go one way, another one. Maybe plays in something else later on. I'm like, "There's so many things they can do now." And so, so like I said, I'm in episode nine out of ten there, and I already see how they can go forward with the with the characters and the kids and everything like that in the future. So, like, if the final episode has no fighting at all and just, like, drama and intensity, all good with me. They blew their entire fighting budget in the final scene of season two. But the good thing about that one is, like, boring you through season two, most of the part with the lubby dubby nonsense. But the good thing about the big climactic thing at the end of season two and the, and the school thing, it's a hanging thread. And like basically all of season three. So you needed to see the final part of season two to understand that. But in order to understand why these people were like hating each other and stuff like that, you need to watch most of season two to understand why these people hate each other. So I got to congratulate the writers on this one, like 100%. They're like the Mandalorian writers deserve a lot of credits for like bringing things back together there and like making things make sense in the narrative. And Cobra Kai definitely deserves that as well. Like you can't throw away season two, even though it wasn't as strong as, you know, this one and season one, you can't throw away season two because season two has characters introduced in there and the elements that was, that was going on in there that, that are important for season three. So you need to watch them in order, which is great. So, like, it's three three hours each season, you know, 30 minutes per 10 episodes. So, like, I, I was very impressed. Um, so, like, there's a lot of things that happened. <laughs> there's a lot of things that happened in this season that they, they can grow on in the next season. And I was like, wow, they actually brought some stuff they can actually do more of. I thought it was really cool. I thought it was actually very well done. Um... So like, uh, since I've seen nine episodes, I can give it a grade, I guess. There, it doesn't, it doesn't. At this point, uh, it is not. It is not even that stick the landing. It is not. To, it, it will the way they, the way episode nine ended. I'm like it, it definitely will stick the landing. Um, <laughs> I mean, like with with Crease 
and, and Daniel and Johnny and uh, mystery character. Yeah, there's, yeah there's, there's a lot to like about this season. I mean, like, the, the girls having their issues, the, the young teenage girls having their issues. And then, like, they look at the house. There's so many things happening in there when it comes to drama. And I'm like, yeah, there's, there's so much cool shit in here. I mean, like, I can't say enough glowing things about this season. I mean, like, um, if I, like you know, like recent show, recent series that I've watched, uh, Saved by the Bell, uh, Mandalorian, of course, and uh, some quippy shows, which I shouldn't even talk about. I saw a show called um, Alice and not Wonderland, Borderland, and Alice in Borderland. It was it's a Japanese show. Uh, that was good, but not nearly as strong as Cobra Kai is when it comes to their, their narrative and storytelling and, act, and, and, and and acting. It's not not nearly as strong. Uh, every episode has something jaw dropping to look at in, in in Cobra Kai and Allison Border. It took like episode five out of eight to get really good. Um, but it, it's important to watch the other episodes. But like five through eight are like just like holy shit. Uh, it's really messed up stuff happening in there. Um. But in Cobra Kai, every episode is is very, very good. Very tightly put together, tight narrative, tight acting. I, I can't say much like when I when I watch the show, I'm not thinking about tight acting, yada yada yada. I'm not thinking about the technical stuff there. I'm thinking about like how I'm, the main thing I'm thinking like, how cool is this the shit I'm watching right now? I, I'm literally thinking like How cool is it? That uh this came back. This this return, this continued so many decades later. It could have been forgotten about like the Santa Time. It could have been forgotten about, like, uh, Back to the Future. It could have been forgotten about, like, you know, Trading Places. Or, like, um, G.I. Joe or Top Gun or Rain Man. Good shows back then. In, like, the 90s, I guess. Uh, and, like, Next Karate Kid came out there with Hilary Swank. I thought, um... Honestly, I thought that was the end. In 2000s came, I didn't even think about Karate Kid. Um, until like, the new Karate Kid came out. And for this show to have... So much attention to detail. When it comes to what they say, and where they go, and, and the music. Can't believe it.